Hey everybody, welcome to the, this morning's devotional. Um, I want to jump into Matthew with you guys this morning and, and um, discuss a couple things uh, about fruit. Um, towards the end of Jesus' teaching, when he first uh, calls the disciples, um, you know, he goes through a bunch of teaching with them before um, they continue their journey. So, uh, Matthew chapter 7, um, starting in verse 15, it says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree, bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. Uh, this is talking about uh, false teachers, basically. Um, and I guess a good question to ask yourself is, would you know a false teacher if you encountered one? Um, you know, obviously, uh, we're blessed with the teacher we have in this church, uh, but there's a lot of people out there that are set out to deceive others. And the way that you can... Um, find them out is by uh, looking into their lives. What is coming out? Um, what is going in? What's coming out? Because obviously what goes in will, will be shown. Um, so he says, Be aware of false prophets who come in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. So they look good. They talk good. In fact, at the end, uh, in Revelation, it talks about the, um, the, the beast is going to come and he's going to look uh, like everybody wants to be him or be around him. He's going to be this good looking guy that uh, we elect or, or somehow gets into power and um, he is in sheep's clothing. Um, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves, just basically meaning inside they are nothing but darkness. There is nothing good in them and so eventually that's going to that's gonna be seen. Uh, but verse 16 says, You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So basically, the fruit of somebody's life is what comes out of their lives. Their service, their love, um, just the way they handle themselves, the way they speak. You're going to be able to tell whether they're real or they're fake or they're putting on a front. Um, you know, when it says, do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or fig trees, we can relate that with, if you're, if you're listening to these people, um, you are gra gathering your fruit from somebody who is, is not teaching the truth. And I think in today's world, it's so easy to be deceived by somebody um, because of, um, I just don't think we, we, we study enough. Um, you know, when it comes to belief, you have to study yourself. You can't take somebody else's word for it. The truth is right here. It's not in man. It's not in um, anybody walking the face of the earth. It's in Jesus Christ, and it's, it's in this book. And so you've got to read this in order to find out if you're being taught something real. Um, verse 17, even so every good tree bears good fruit, but bad trees bear bad fruit. Kind of what we just discussed. Now when you're talking about good fruit and, and good teaching, you're going to take that teaching, you're going to apply it to your life, and uh, what comes out is going to be good fruit. Um, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Um, so when you're being taught, um, or you're reading your Bible and, and understanding it, um, from truth, it says right here, you cannot bear bad fruit. But if you're, you, you're, you're falling into deception, you're falling into lies because you're not doing your research and finding out what's real, it's very easy to bear bad fruit. Every tree that does not bear fruit, bear good fruit, is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. So just something to encourage you, um, Ask yourself a couple of questions. Could you tell a false teacher or a false prophet if you were uh, confronted with one? Um, are you discerning 
and are you learning about God in His Word and not just trusting somebody's word else for it? Um, and then another one is, um, you know, a good good tree, a good teacher is going to produce fruit. If you if you've looked at um, some of the stuff that happens within this church and the fruit that comes out of this church, it's not because uh, it's not because of Hagen, it's not because of Lee, it's not because of the people that are kind of in charge of this church, it's because of Jesus Christ is in this church, and He is providing the fruit in order for the body of the church to produce. And you see it all over the place, if you really pay attention, and it's because the Word is in here, the, the teaching is in here, and the fruit pours out from it into our lives so we can pour it out into others. So I hope that encourages you uh, today and um, really just, just read your Bible um, and, and come to church and learn and you will see fruit. So let's pray and we'll continue our day. Lord, we thank you for this uh, day, this time that you've given us to really kind of dive into your word and see what you have for us. And Lord, I just pray for... Uh, everybody listening and, and the church body, Lord, that we would just be better listeners, better students, uh, better um, at research, that we could take your word, apply it to our lives daily, and we would see the fruit that you have to offer. A lot of us see it all the time, Lord, but some of us just, we hit these lazy streaks, and um, or, or we just don't know if we believe or not, but Lord, you will provide this fruit that we have to offer uh, not only you but other people that come into our lives. And Lord, I just pray that we could do that for you today. In Jesus' name, amen.